Hello crafters, welcome to G's Creations and today's video. First of all, I want to apologise if you hear crows in the background. I have my Halloween tree decorated and I have these crows that I bought from Poundland and they are um they sent sent their their motion sensors and they keep going off every time I move. So I apologise if you hear them in the background throughout the video. Today is a Meme Made Design Team project and we're going to be using um items from the store. I'm going to be using uh, one of Meme's uh, newer um stamp sets and that's the Banner Day. We're going to be using Winker Stella that Meme stocks. We're going to be using the a perfect winter um six by six paper pad and it's from Echo Park. Gonna be using some snow techs. Here we go again. We're going to be using. <laughs> we're going to be using some glitter, and we're going to be using the art glitter glue. Art glitter glue is also sold at Maymay Made It. We're going to be using some twine. Maymay does stock some beautiful twine that doesn't unravel, and we're going to be using some NDF mitten shapes. So we're going to be making this ornament, and I really love the way it turned out. Oh, and one other thing we're going to be using is glossy accents. So, <laughs> sorry crafters, it's just going to make me chuckle throughout the video, I do apologise, but I think it's hilarious. Right, I'm going to choose a paper. I really want to try this red and white one here, as I've got the blue, but as, as I'm going to put these on my tree, I'm going to use the blues and the whites, so I'm going to use this one here. I love this, this is probably one of my favourite um, image uh, pages from this particular set. Okay, so I want my, I want them to be, oops, come over here. I want this image to be on the mittens in this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them around and I'm going to draw around them. And I'm going to use a ballpoint pen. And I'm only going to draw around the mitten part. I'm not going to draw around the base because that's going to be um, covered in snow text, which kind of gives it the, the fur trim look that you get on some mittens. Right, I'm going to cut these out. And I'm cutting um, just, um, I'm not cutting on the line, I'm cutting just before the line. Because obviously using a, a pen, you do the this what you cut out will be slightly bigger. So just show you here. See how it's slightly bigger? It overhangs. So I'm just cutting inside the line. I think is the correct phrase, rather than on it. Okay, so I want them to be like that. Oops. So that's one for there. And one for there and I'm going to attach these using the art glitter glue and I'm going to put those to one side and let those dry while they are drying I am going to use this stamp set I think I'm going to have, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three of these in total and I'm going to have let it snow. So I'm going to do this one with the, with the word let. I've got some of the paper that I've got put to one side and I'm going to use Memento Nautical Blue. Now Meme stocks the um, smaller versions of the, um, Memento, I don't believe the uh, larger ones are stocked. I'm using my acrylic block, which is also available for Meme Made It, I'm going to stamp out two of these because obviously I'm just doing the lets, and then I should do another one off camera, and that'll be it. And then the one I've already done will be snow stamp set beforehand. Right, now I need the I and the T. A, B, C, G, E, F, G, H, I. H, I. And the T. And 
And the beauty with this stamp set is that you do have the three designs, but you've also got the open and you've also got the solid and you've got a little bow which you can um, put the ends just to finish them off. You've got your invited, let's party, happy birthday, thinking of you. And you've got all these, they've got ampersand, question mark, plus sign, hash, uh, star, hashtag. Really cute little set, I do love it. So let's cut these out. And they take no time to cut out. It's just three, three straight lines. One, two, and three. So I'm going to put those to one side. Put the lid back on my ink. Okay, what I need to do with these now sorry crafters it just makes me chuckle <laughs> okay crafters what we're going to do now is using using a um, nail file I'm going to go around and get rid of all this excess so I'm just going to do it off camera and then I'll bring them back to you Okay crafters, the reason why I use the nail file is I like to get a very crisp and finished look on the edges. So as you can see now, they almost look like they're one piece. So on these top bits here, I'm going to use some snow text. And get snow text from your craft stores, that type of thing. I must admit, it's not overly easy to get it in the UK. And if you can get it in the UK, it's extremely expensive. Right, I'm just going to do the one because obviously now what I'm going to do with the this one here is I'm going to mount it. Let me just pick up with these pieces out of the way. I'm going to mount it on top of this. So obviously I'm not going to need this one to be covered everywhere. So I'm going to put some art glitter glue. Now this art glitter glue really does hold these things strongly together. So I'm going to place that on top. Then I know how much I need to finish off the other the other mitten. And you're gonna to need to let this dry for at least uh, four hours. So I'm going to put this in my airing cupboard to dry off and then we'll move on to the next stage. Actually, what I'm going to do um, while while this is uh, drying, I might as well let the, uh, I might as well have the, um, while the snow text is drying, I'll, I'll do the, um, what do you call it? Glossy accents. I can put that on, they can dry together. So let me do that as well. So using the glossy accents, I'm going to put glossy accents all over the uh, paper part of the glove. I don't think there's much left in this one. Let me get my newer one. So I can have these all dry together and I'm just going to sprinkle on some iridescent white glitter and that will get stuck in with the snow text and with the, the glossy accents. So I'm going to put this in the air and cover to dry for four hours and then we can come back and carry on. Okay crafters, this is all nice and dry. As you can see, the iridescent glitter has sunk into the um, snow text and the um, glossy accents. So I'm going to use the smaller size punch on the thumbs of the mittens. And I'm going to use the larger one, if I can get it in which I won't be, I can't get it in. I've done the snow a bit too thick on this one, which is fine because I can just glue some twine on the back 
and use that to hang it up. So, okay, so just going to get some red and white twine. And I'm going to tie that on. So it looks like he's holding the, uh, the bunting. I think I just put too much, um, what do you call it? It's too much snow text on this one. And I'm going to put some glue down as well, just here so I can glue this bunting in place. if you can hear that barking dog in the background obviously the dog wants to go inside but the owners are not listening to adhere the it using that glue that I've already got on there from sticking the, the twine down. Cut this twine down. Cut a piece so I can secure it to the to the back to hang it up. Going to do a sling, just going to do a slingshot, slingshot, sling knot on the back because the uh, the snow tax is too thick at the top for me to to do the holes like I did with this one. And you, can, and you could actually you could submerge it between both of them. You could uh, when you're gluing these together, you could put your tag, you, you know, your twine or tag there at that point. So I'm just going to put that there, hold it in place, and that'll be how I can hold it up, hang it up. So I'm going to do one more, and I'll do that off camera, and then what I'll do is on my tree I'll have three of them, and it'll say let it snow. And this one I just added a snowflake, which is the Arctic snowflake dye from my store, and some gems. And I covered everything with um, Wing of Stella, so that was the snowflake and the bunting. And I'm going to do the same thing with this bunting here just to give it a little bit of sparkle. It's Christmas and it should all sparkle. So there we go crafters. Thank you very much for joining me with this Memo Made It Design Team project. I use the uh, 6x6 paper pad from Echo Park, A Perfect Winter and I used the um, Bannered A Day um, stamp set. And I use Snowtex, um, what else did I use? The Glossy Accents, good old art glitter glue, which is available from uh, Meme as well. And uh, you can make yourself some really, really pretty uh, ornaments. Thank you for joining me, crafters, and I will see you again very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.